Hello and welcome to Dapper Man Dying Gaming. Here we are. This is episode 6, I believe, of A Boyhood Dream. And here is the big game against Cardiff City in the Capital One Cup second round. It says here, uh, Dan Blake took several questions about transfer policy. I didn't mention anything because I don't really think there's much to do. The Western Daily Press, however, chose the main focal point with journalist Andy Ferdinand asking, given the history between the two teams, there's an incredible hunger from the Bristol City fans to get one over on Cardiff. What other challenges facing with Perth and match this magnitude? Blake's response was passionate, noting, I'll go about things in my usual way, but at the same time I fully understand that might all go out the window after a minute of play. That, obviously, a local derby. I think it's going to be quite feisty. Russell Slade wasn't very happy about me saying that uh, a bit of mind games. Apparently... He like Russell Slade likes me. He thinks I'm a good guy, and sure, but I'll look back on my comments to see that I'm let the club down. I haven't let my club down. What is your reaction to Russell Slade marking out Jordi Harula as Bristol City's? Jordi Harula probably isn't even going to play much, but he's entitled to his opinion. I don't think Jordi's going to play much for a part. In all honesty, I might bring him on later on, but Jordi's not even going to be on my in my first eleven. So I don't really know why Russell Slade is talking like that. In all honesty. About a player with mine, which isn't even probably going to play much in this game. So I'm going to name my team now. I know I've said to Carly Osborne, I gave him a few games. But also to Vernier, he's not very much fit at the moment. I'm going to keep him in though. Although I'm going to make one change on the bench. Carly Osborne I'm gonna make, is going to make way for Mark Little. I'm going to put Mark Little in that position on the bench there. Other than that, I think it's a pretty solid side. I'm a bit worried about the lack of attacking prowess on the bench but I think we'll be able to uh, sort that out so we'll see what happens in the game I'm pretty happy with my team obviously it's a big game Let's see what happens Cardiff relegated from the Premier League last year they'll be hoping to knock us out of the cup no doubt it's going to be a fierce derby atmosphere at Ashton Gate for this game Nicky Maynard starting up front I've made an offer for him. I just got a feeling he's going to come back and bite me right on the arse, Mr. Maynard. But we'll have to see. I want them going on him hard. Give Maynard a bit of a hard time. Don't think we need to tighten Mark him much. Well, I'm going to give him my team talk. A passionate one. Let's see what we can do and get this match underway here at Ashton Gate. It's Bristol City versus Cardiff. Seven side derby in the second round of the Capital One Cup. It's that man Maynard. Just don't let him shoot. Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe it? 20 seconds into the game and he's gone and done it. I can't believe that. I honestly cannot believe that. Let's talk about biting the hand that used to feed him. That's just 17 seconds into the game. And Main, I just put one straight in the top corner past Fielding. I don't think my game plan's to go out the window after one minute. It's not gone out the window after 20 odd seconds. I can't believe that. I said it was going to happen before the game, but I don't think it's happened that quickly. That's it, well in. My boys need to sort we need to sort of try and get something going here, because at the moment, I think we're a bit on the back foot. <laughs> oh, a guard, lost the ball to Morrison. Back to Malone. Up towards the halfway line, Kevin J. Just gonna play that man Maynard in again. Fielding's coming running. Oh, he's not made it! I can't believe it! I'm speechless. What has filled in done there? I just can't believe it. We've been playing so well. And now we're 2-0 down within seven minutes. I'm gonna have to see what's I'm gonna have to get more attacking, I think, in the minute. Let us go on. Go on, Aylin. You know what you can do. Well we're in! Go on! Oh yeah! Offside. 
I thought that was the chance there. I'm gonna, we are going to start closing down main. Oh, it's causing me all sorts of problems. Oh my! I don't know what I can do. This has got. This could be like that six-nil game at Ashton Gate a few seasons ago. It really could be. It's that bad already. I just don't know what to do now. We've just been completely blitzed. So Vernier is going to have to come off, I think. I'm going to have to bring... Williams on or somebody. We're gonna have to do something quick. No. There we go. Could the fight back be on? Is that Flint stepping up to take it? Oh my, it is. Go on, Aiden. Yes! Get in there. Flint said no, no, no. Flint said no, no, no. Go on. What a penalty by Aiden Flint. Marshall did not stand a chance. Attack him, come on. got a choice in now. we do need to really, at least we've got a goal, but we need to start attacking, oh, go on, chance for Agard, oh, oh my, that's not main art, is it? It is. What is that? What a goal that is. What a goal that is from Maynard. It's got a hat trick in 31 minutes. I don't believe it. He's a good 30 yards from goal and he just thumped that in the top corner. You see why well, I tried to sign him now, can't you? <laughs> tried to re-sign him. He's gone and scored a hat trick. Right, there we go. Let's see. Tavernier's got to come off, unfortunately. I know I said I'd play you, but that's just ridiculous. Brian's not having the best of games. How's Aileen playing? 6.2. Seems I've been let down by that right hand side a little bit, you know. Mind you, Wagstaff's played a 6.6. Oh, I wish I'd played this a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find the, where the opposition instructions then. Here we go. Right. We need to close Maynard down. Whittingham's causing us a bit of problems. Our boys, we just need to get start attacking, I think. Oh, 
this isn't good. Um, I'm going to take Ailing off a little, I think, as well. Have the Brian and Little playing as wing backs. Smith's not. Um, gonna leave my last substitution, I think. See what happens. If we can get back into this game a little bit, man. Oh, Williams waiting hard on Maynard. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Free kick. O'Keefe tripped up Freeman. Yellow card, but... Go on, Luke. Oh, he's hit the wall. Freeman again. On. Oh, come on, Raph. Go on, Greg. Williams. Back for Brian. Cardiff got a free kick here. Over the wall it goes. I think I, I think Corey Smith is going to make way in a minute. But then if I do that, I can't bring another striker on. Oh, Cunningham inside the area. No, oh, puts the ball in though. Oh. Wagstaff. Little. Oh, good ball, Freeman into his arm, Wilbraham! That's just, that's how our day is gone. It's not been the best of games, I've got to be honest. Especially not against Cardiff. I don't think the fans will be too happy about this one. Oh, Smith, you missed a tackle there. Go on, Wilbraham. Got players with you. Oh, go on. Go on, Mike Little. Ooh. We're, get we're getting a few chances now, but... It's not been great. I don't think we're going to bring on... Uh, we're not going to bring on an attacking player. We need to get Wade Elliott on. Actually, we want them supporting the attack. Morrison McConnelly's coming on and um, McClendon's Maynard's coming off Maynard was injured but he's made his damage I made my final substitution now as well so if I get any injuries I'll be down to 10 men just needs a push I think really that's what we can do if we let another one in we're going to let another one in but it's been a bit of a nightmare really for us that first half totally killed us Elliot's deflected. Go away, so that's Cunningham! Oh, saved by Marshall. It's not good, though. It's not been a very good episode at all at the moment. And I'm sure there'll be some backlash from this. I am very, very sorry to the Bristol City fans. We have been absolutely humiliated at home to Cardiff. And I'm not impressed with that in the slightest. I'm going to be honest. Frank Fielding's a bit demotivated. There's not a lot he could have done, though. I don't, he didn't, he was, I appreciate his efforts, because he didn't, there's not a lot he could have done about many of them, the first, there's that one he made an absolute mare with, but the other three, especially that one for Maynard, that was just a great shot really, so Flint was brought down, and they gave him the assist to Cunningham, so Cunningham must have been the player who was fouled in the penalty area, this result would be disappointment, what do you think, I've got to be, 
we were really poor. That is what I'm going to say, because we were, unfortunately. Maynard gets a man of the match. 9.5 rating with three goals. <laughs> I knew that Maynard was going to do something, but I didn't realise it was going to be to that extent. Blake discusses weak links. We're not commenting on that. We did have a player named in the team of the week. Frank Fielding for his league performance. Oh, a potentially serious injury by Nicky Maynard. Oh, a twisted ankle. He's going to be out for five to six weeks, but he did enough damage for me. Little makes Bristol City debut. Mark Little made his debut. I think we played better in that second half, I've got to be honest, but exactly Aileen, Tavernier and Smith are the three players I subbed off. Um, there's not a lot I can... It's going to hurt for a few days. I've resulted that much... I do feel distraught, to be honest, I do. Maynard's goal was good. I am disappointed actually. Yeah, we'll just move on to the next one. I don't want to comment on it to be honest. On that note, we've got Knox County away in four days, but I'm going to end this episode here. Not a very good episode at all in a boyhood dream today. A very disappointing 4-1 loss to Cardiff. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with more Bristol City Football Manager in the near future.